I'm Alicia McNeely. I work with ILAE and I am here with Yamile Calle Lopez, um, the chair of YES. And how are you today? I'm fine. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for being here. How are you finding this Congress now that we're all back together in person? So I think it's great we just started with all the in-person congresses and activities because the virtual ones were very interesting, were a very nice option during the pandemic and it helped us a lot with connections through the internet and, and to meet new people. But the, the contact with everyone in person, it's lacking. It's, it's a, a very important thing to find like real connections among people from different places in the world and it's very interesting to find out people that you have met only by Zoom calls and so on. And then you can see it in person and you can interact with them. So it was very nice. It's a very nice experience. It's wonderful. I feel the same. That's actually how we've met because we've sent so many emails to each other. And exactly. so now we're finally in person. Yeah, finally. Yeah, that's nice. So as this is your first Congress as the chair of YES, can you just tell us a little bit about your group and what you do? and what you're looking forward to? Oh yeah, so the June Epilepsy Section is a task force inside ILE. It was created in 2018 and it was an initiative in, made by Marian Galovic and by our current global chair, the Dr. Helen Cross. So they wanted to create a group that sponsor early career scientifics and people in the clinical aspects of epilepsy so we can all start doing our own educational activities and our own projects and have a, a lot of networking among different people around the world so we can start new projects in a scientific background or a clinical background and it, it has been a very nice experience so far, we have created different projects that have transcended to ILE, like chart waves and like the webinars. So it's been very interesting and very nice. That's wonderful. Thanks so much. And have you been able to see a lot of um, YES members while you're here? Has it been a good turnout? Yeah, it has been a very good situation for us because many people could attend and we have the chance to start all these activities for yesers so we can start with uh, different uh, conversations and different talks and we can prepare ourselves to to be like the the people that are going to start uh, with the different talks in the big congresses in the future so it's it was very nice wonderful so glad to hear that and thanks so much for coming to chat with us 